Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to take a moment and make a video. I don't know why I, I really haven't made a video about this situation. Um, I wanted to share one of my losses in my life. It was one of the most heart-wrenching losses that I've ever had, have ever experienced. Um, we all think we're going to live to 90 and we all, you know, think that, you know, our grandparents are the ones that will pass, then our mothers, our fathers, then us, then our husbands, wives, whatever. Uh, six years ago, I lost somebody who was so near and dear to my heart. I met him on a dating website and we immediately connected one night randomly. We were both at the same place at the same time. Um, literally, I got a uh, a tap on the shoulder and I turn around and here's this man I've been talking to for months and I, I literally could not let him out of my sight. I felt like I was in high school and um, I don't think that I left with any of my makeup on because we just made out all night long. Sorry mom. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we had this connection and I'm sure a lot of people know what this connection is. Um, six months later, we were moving, we moved in together. We, we were engaged seven months later and about four months after that, he had went into jail because he gotten a DUI. Um, you know, I, <laughs> I didn't know how to handle it at first, but I was there every morning an hour and a half um, before I went to work, I saw him for a half an hour and I supported him. I loved him. Um, I come from a family that doesn't believe that anybody good can go to jail. And it's, um, it was kind of weird for me to be sitting there, but I'm like, you know what? I am not any better than any of these people here. Um, I could be here, knock on wood, multiple times. So, Anyway, um, a couple months after he went to jail, he had a heart attack, June 8, 2010, and he called me in fear of his life, like he was so dreadly, dreadly, dreadfully, whatever word, in fear, and he said that he dropped, and he passed out, his whole life flashed in front of his eyes, and he woke up, um, I don't know how much longer, but, and he didn't know what happened to him. So, he never got medical attention. They never gave him any medical attention. That's besides, that's a whole nother story. Um, but a month and 10 days later, I get a phone call. I get a phone call that I never, ever, ever in a million years ever expected in my life. And I had just picked out my wedding dress. I had just written him a letter because I, we write letters to each other and um, send them every day. So I literally get this phone call and they tell me that my fiance has passed away. And I don't know if you've ever gotten heart wrenching news to where your heart feels like it has been ripped out, torn to pieces, stomped on, and literally put back into your chest and said, here you go live with that like your plans the wedding the babies the college the all of that comes to a complete stop it came to a complete stop like my world froze and it, it, was, it was so weird like I didn't want to accept it there's no way I no way can you be telling me that my fiance is dead like no like go back please go back and find him because he he doesn't die <laughs> he's do you not know? I mean, like, he doesn't die. He doesn't. Anyway, it was so heart-wrenching. Like, I've never felt pain like that before. And the reason I'm making this video is because I want to be able to reach out to somebody that may be going through this right at this exact moment. You may have gotten a phone call. You may have gotten a knock on the door. You may have gotten something. And I want to be strong enough for you to be able to reach out to me because I truly believe that we all go through things for a reason whatever that reason is and I can't just be like well my fiance died poor me I want to be proactive in helping other people and so when I got that phone call I literally shut down my world stopped I can remember driving in a car and seeing traffic but 
that traffic I was so mad that that those people's worlds and what I saw were, were continuing and like I didn't understand it like my world just froze in time like there was nothing that literally existed anymore it was very awkward I've never felt that way before um, but it's six years later and I can still remember the exact time well the exact moment what I was doing um, uh, what the phone calls said everything verbat verbatim and um i just want to reach out to anybody who's going through this and tell you that it'll be okay and if you need somebody to talk to send me a message one song that has helped me a ton is tell your heart to beat again um I can't remember who sings it. Danny Goki. A beautiful, beautiful song about just making a conscious effort um, to make your, to tell your heart to beat again when you don't feel like living at all. So I say all this just to express to you how much I wants you to know that you're not alone that you're you are you're right now if you're going through this you're on a journey and um you need to make every minute count i did make a movie about our relationship because we're interracial and um he started the story i finished it um and I just think that you can take tragedy and make it terrific, or you can make tragedy, take tragedy and make tragedy. And um, we all have the choice. And I'm telling you to make something terrific. My name is Rachel Anderson. Like this video, give us a thumbs up. You can always subscribe to me. I know I'm not really super cool, but I could be one day. Anyway, I hope you guys reach out to me if you need me.